Hi, my name is Malia. And I'm Isaac. And today we're going to be talking about ancient Roman culture. Have you ever been in interested in ancient Roman culture? Us too. That's why we decided to look more into our past history. When learning about Roman culture, you start to understand more about what they did and how it's impacted our life up to this point. Getting to know ancient Romans culture, we use the internet to understand more valuable information to understand the whole concept behind Romans idea of culture. We'll be discussing four main points, education, art, clothing, and architecture. Education was very important to the ancient Romans. Only the rich in Rome were educated. Children from rich families were schooled and were taught by private tutors. Well, the poor did not receive proper education, but still learned how to read and write. Schools were boys only, which meant girls would have to learn how to cook and clean from their mothers or older siblings. Many schools were not individual buildings. Many of them were extension of shops. The only thing separating the students and the crowd were mere curtains. Learning in Roman schools were based on fear. Boys were beaten for the slightest offense. The Romans believed that a boy will learn correct and accurate if they feared being beaten if they get something wrong. Boys continued to get things wrong, get held down by two slaves and were beaten by a leather whip. Students would wake up at sunrise, work all day with a small short break and then go home to bed at sunset for the next day. Children did not need to know why the things they get are right, only to know it was right to escape a beating. Now that we are done talking about education in ancient Rome, let's introduce art. Art was created for a variety and of functions and contexts during the century uh, that the Rome, Roman Empire resigned. Roman art spans almost a thousand years and three continents from Europe, Africa, and Asia. The first Roman art can be dated back to 509 to 300 BCE. Roman art encompasses a large spectrum of media, including painting, marble, gems, silver, and bronze work, just to name a few. A lot of Roman art influence came from Greek art. Roman artists were masters at adapting Greek imagery for new functions and contexts. An image of a wounded Greek warrior created in 400 BC. E in Athenians was its first appearance as a part of a mythical battle between Greek soldiers and the legendary Amazon females. This scene decorates the shield of a momentum gold and ivory cult statue of goddess Athena. Five to six centuries later, the same figure was used as a Roman art culture relief. Now that you know more about art, we're gonna talk about clothing. In the very early Roman stages, most people wore togas, which were white sheets that were about nine yards long and they draped from your shoulders all around your body. They're arranged in a particular way that it was supposed to look clean and elegant. They did, although fall out of style very fast because they were not practical when it got colder. Most men wore togas because they wanted to look smart and very high class, but it's like almost like a suit as it is today. Once they realized how practical it was, they switched to tunics, which were a basically long t-shirts. They were made from cool linen for the summer and warm wool during the winter, so it fit seasonal. Women in ancient Rome also wore tunics and they did dye their hair to a golden red shade. Now that you know about clothing in ancient Rome, we're going to talk about architecture. In ancient Rome, architecture, you can basically tell that it's Rome by the columns, the arches, the domes, and the vaults. One reason Romans used arches was to make bridges so that they can take their culture all over Europe. The Roman Colosseum was one of the most visited spots in Roman architecture thousand people and has over 80 entrances and exits. 
It was so large that it was named one of the largest amphitheaters of its time. Now you all heard a little bit about Roman's culture. We went over Rome's education, art, clothing, and agriculture. I hope after this speech, you all learned a little more about ancient Roman culture and what makes it such a big part of our history.